and welcome to the FBTV Weekly Highlight Show for Round 3. First of all, we're out to the CJ Greenfield Reserve for Capital League 1 action as Brisbane Force hosts Bayside United. And Bayside get us underway in this first half. Just knocking it around in their defensive half to start off with. Stucky with the ball on there. Ben Casillo. Aqua. Tries to thread his ball on there. Cut out by the Bayside defence. Run here for Bayside. And the opening goal comes midway through the first half. Into the box comes Lee Parker, the advancing Evan Pierce, unable to deny him his shot. And Bayside with a 1 0 lead. Stucky ball on there for Kedda. Edge of the box here. Initial clearance from the force. Full straight there for Fripp, who sends his shot wide. Poor clearance there. Kedda takes full advantage. And eight minutes later, Bayside have extended their lead. Poor clearance there for the force. Straight into the path of Tom Kedda. Bit of control. And then from the 18-yard line, tucks it away nicely. Still... Bayside continue what seems to be a never-ending attacking raid. Curtis plays it back for Fripp. Ball on, Fripp gets it back again. Off the right foot on! Oh, the woodwork conspires against him. Ward tried to play the square ball there and Adamson couldn't quite anticipate it. Now here's Kedda once more for Bayside. Kedda inside the box. Shouts a penalty there from the Bayside supporters and referee Eldridge has deemed that that was a fair tackle. And I'd say I'd agree with him on that occasion. Kissel. Ward. Patricio. Back for Ward, tries to do the turn, does a little dance, plays it square. Turn on goal there from Cisco, sends his shot to the experienced Bayside custodian in Craig Dutton. Ketter once more, causing some issues here for the force defence. Bankasio decides to clear it across the goal line. Corner played in, headed on. And the third comes Bayside's way. Just over 10 minutes from time from Daniel Farmer. Ball in from the corner. Farmer gets in above the pack. And Brisbane Force left to rue their defensive effort that time round. Farmer. Trying to pick out Parker. Parker. And denied there by Cavi and Poor. Void of options. Plays it on for Patricio. Paul Eldridge blows the full time whistle. Bayside have come away winners 3 0 in this round three Capital League One match. Our second match for coverage takes us to Jack Spear Park, where the newly promoted Turinga Rovers host UQFC in the Inner West Derby. Both these sides close neighbours. UQFC that get us underway in their white strip today. Played back by Mann. Opening throw into the match to UQFC. Clearance comes from Blakey. Sends it long over the head there of Hamid. Tully tries to control it, falls back for her mid. 
The mid trying to negotiate around his defender there in Hirano. Eventually, UQFC come away with it. Waldo is fouled at the edge of the box. Let's take a look at that on the replay. And Jason Crow deemed that the posterior, I guess you could call it, interfered with the UQFC player as Basnet sends his free kick over the bar. Save there from Eccles. Turinga player goes down. Let's see if we can pick up on the replay whether there was any contact. Eccles trying to pick up the ball. Was it fair? We're a long way away from that one, unfortunately. Man. Good win there from... Somerville sent long into the path of Hamid into an open goal. Eccles deep off his line. Waldo forward here for UQFC for Henny. And he gets around his man there. Shot comes in off the woodwork. A mid foul on the halfway line. Takes his free kick quickly. Half hour gone here at Jack Spear Park and scores till, still level between Turinga and UQFC. Devereaux goes down the line. Good run here. In towards the back post. A mid. Should have put that one away. Throw in comes in. Tully. On for Chester off his left foot. Great strike from Stephen Chester. And puts his side 1 0 to the good. Stephen Chester finds the right angle. Bassnet. Ball through the channel for Henny. Blakey with the save. Watts moves the ball on there for you, QFC. Here's Henny in a good opportunity. Blakey comes out to meet him. Asks for a better effort of his defenders on that occasion. Low turns over possession for Chester. Lethal in this situation normally just scuffs his shot Turinga knocking it around here in danger Henny back for Blakey oh here's danger oh, Blakey lucky to get away with that one low one there by Spall. On again. Turinga put themselves under pressure defensively. And he gets back to his feet. Lunging challenge in there. Low. Watts. One there by Voland. He goes down looking for the penalty again. Plenty of decisions for Jason Crow to make in this one as Voland enters the box. Challenge in from Hirano. And it might have been a challenge shoulder to shoulder, but surely Voland wasn't within playing distance. Hirano. Oh, good little movement there from Hirano. Through for Henny! And the goal scored by UQFC to equalise things with seven minutes remaining. Well, the Turinga defence, it's looked a bit brittle at times today. And a player like San Henny 
He'll take advantage of those kind of situations. Henny, low, and helped over the crossbar there by Blakey's. We'll take a look here at Blakey's effort. Good tip over the bar there from the Turinga custodian. Corners played in, headed on by Henny over the bar on this occasion. Blakey looking to get a quick restart. Long clearance. Finds Teven. Teven angling towards the centre of the park. Shot comes in from Jason Harrigan. And the veranda ecstatic with that goal from Jason Harrigan. Just outside the box. Curls it just inside the left upright. Last effort here for UQFC to come away with a point. Can't be too long remaining. Throw in taken quickly. Samuels. Anywhere up this end of the park is good for Turinga at the moment. Eccles comes to meet it. Referee Jason Crow blows the full time whistle. And Taringa have come away 2-1 winners for their first match at home back in the top flight. So recapping round three results, Peninsula and Lions fought out a one-all draw. Mitchell and 3-1 over Wolves. Roachdale Rovers 1-0 over Eastern Suburbs. Logan with a last-minute goal to defeat Ipswich Knights 3-2. As we've just seen, Taringa 2-1 winners over UQFC, while the Bulldogs defeated Albany Creek 1-0. The table... Logan Lightning on top, the only side with two wins from two matches. Turinga, Lions and Peninsula, the remainder of the top four. Trophy Superstore Premier League Championship table, obviously still early days. Joint leaders are Lions and Logan, Albany Creek and Ipswich Knights in the relegation zone. So the results from Capital League 1, Brisbane Knights were 3-2 winners at Enerley. As we've just seen, Bayside 3-0 over Brisbane Force. North Pine, 1-0 winners over Grange Thistle. Mount Gravatt, 3-2 against Pine Rivers. Holland Park Hawk, 3-0 over North Star. While Southside Eagles fought a miraculous fight back with two injury time goals to collect a point at Moggle, 3 all. Going to the ladder and North Pine sit on top with a perfect 2 from 2 record. Capital League 2 now, Pine Hills were 3-2 winners over Redcliffe PCYC. Westside defeated the highly fancied Park Ridge 1-0. South Comprehensive 5-1 over Slacks Creek. Centenary Stormers 4-2 over the Gap enjoying their time in Capital League 2. Western Spirit won the Derby 1-0 against Ipswich City. While Oxley were 5-0 winners over Newmarket. On the table, South head Centenary Stormers via goal difference. Capital League 3 results, AC Carina over Clairvaux 2-1, Narangbar travelled to Sanford and got the points. New Farmer winners at Kangaroo Point Rovers, Acacia Ridge 9-0 over Ridge Hills. Tarragindi won all with Tawong while Virginia United continued on their midweek form after they defeated Capella Bar in the Cup, 4-2 away to Jimboomba. In the latter three teams with two from two, Acacia Ridge, Virginia United and AC Carina. Just the one match played in Capital League 4 this week with uh, Barden Latrobe defeating Greenbank 4-2. The other two matches were postponed and Barden Latrobe, courtesy of that victory, are top of the Capital League 4 ladder. So coming up on FB Media TV, midweek action once more from the Westfield FFA Cup, the pathway to the Canali Travel Cup final. Round 3 action and what should be an absolute beauty between Holland Park Hawks and Lions FC. Our feature match from the Trophy Superstore Premier League Round 4 will be Albany Creek versus Ipswich Knights, while the highlight show will have an all Trophy Superstore Premier League lineup with UQFC at home to Capella Bar and Logan FC hosting Rochdale Rovers in the M1 Derby.